For this video, I want to demonstrate how to complete the installation of the new Turnigy version 3 LCD radio mount. Not only is this compatible with the Turnigy 9X transmitter, but it will also work with spectrum radios such as the DX5, DX6, DX7, and DX8. Um, now, the common thread between these radios being that the handle and the back is very similar. And the way that this mount works is it clips around the base of the antenna and then snaps onto the rear handle. So that way you get a nice sturdy mount. Um, so this here is the completed mount. You can see it on the back of the 9X transmitter. Um, the LCD I'm using is a Hobby King LCD. It's the 5.8 gigahertz diversity monitor. It has two antennas on it and dual video receivers inside so that you can switch between different um, signals. Now, this radio has been modified so that it uses a lithium polymer battery and it also has an FR Sky module. Now, this is a mod that you can do to your radio, um, either purchase it and with the stock module, remove it and put the new one in or you can purchase it modulus. I'm not going to go into that in this video, that's something that I've described in other articles that you can find on my website. Um, but the idea being, depending on what your radio, how it's set up, uh, the antenna may or may not come out through this port. Uh, but it doesn't matter either way, it should work just fine. However, for mine, since there is no antenna in that port, I instead have a power cable for the LCD. And that just comes through, loops around, and plugs right into the side here. Now, the radio mount has slots in the side so that you can use Velcro straps or zip ties to mount other electronics. If you're not using the diversity monitor, monitor or maybe you're using a monitor that does not have built-in receivers, then you can use this back surface here to wrap a piece of Velcro around either the video receiver or the battery. Um, it's great to be able to power the monitor off of your radio's own battery, that way you don't have to have a separate battery, but for some people it might just be easier not to modify the radio and therefore you can use these back strap mounts to secure the battery or the video receiver. Now the mount has been designed to work with a bunch of different monitors. Uh, one of the common mounting styles for these monitors is to use a channel in the back such as this one. Now this channel can either have a nut with a bolt and that acts as the nut trap that cinches it down to the back of the mount or you can secure it with a bolt at the bottom. Um, with this mount one of the provided mounting styles is this channel piece here and this channel piece will slide right into the back of the monitor and oops, and it's a nice secure way to mount it. There's also a hole at the base where you can put a bolt through and that will go through the threaded port on the bottom side of the monitor here. If you do want that additional security, it's really easy to install, um, but it's not entirely necessary. The mount will hold pretty much any monitor with a channel piece just fine, and you don't have to worry about it falling off. Um, the only difference between the 9X radio mount and the differences in the spectrum mount are the two pieces in the center here between the two panels which hold the um, antenna in place. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how you would assemble the mount. Now when you receive your mount order you'll come, you'll come with these parts here. The mount is compatible with both the Turnigy 9X and the Spectrum radios um, with the included parts so you can choose which parts you would like to use for your radio. Um, you'll notice that there's four pieces like this here. Now the large one here is for the spectrum radio and this large one will pair with one of the pieces that have the notches in the side. The mount that has the largest opening and has these two little indents on the side is also for the spectrum radio. So these two pieces here are what you will use for the spectrum radio. Both of them have indents on the side here to clip onto the antenna. If you're using the Turnigy radio, you'll use this flat piece that has a surface right here that's sunken in for wrapping around the top of the antenna, and then you'll use the other piece here which has no indents and it's also smaller in diameter.
Now once you've figured out which one you're going to use to mount your radio with, you'll take one of the side pieces, such as this here, and you'll notice that there's grooves in all of the sides where you'd want to attach all the pieces. Now for assembly, I recommend using CA glue and accelerator. Um, this is the CA accelerator that I use. This way you don't have to wait for the glue to dry, but you do have to be careful because it will dry very quickly, so you only have one chance to get it right. Um, any CA glue should work, but I recommend using the thickest uh, kind that you can find. This is thick CA glue as opposed to medium or thin. Thin may not work, um, but medium will definitely work just fine. Now the process for doing this is generally you would take this piece here, and this is the back plate for the monitor, uh, monitor mount. Now, if you choose to use the channel piece, the channel piece will simply clip right in place. And you want to make sure that it's flush on the back side, and the back side will also have two indents, two rails along the side. So the curved face up at the top here, this side is the top of the monitor. And the bottom side, which has more of a flat face, is going to be for the bottom side of the monitor. So you'll glue this in place, once you have it clipped in, you can add CA glue to the back inside of these channels. Or if you choose not to use the channel piece, you can use the hole in the back to use a quarter inch bolt for mounting into the back of the monitor. Um, those are two of the different options. Um, the third being the bottom mounted bolt. And the fourth being you could simply put some adhesive Velcro or some sort of double sided foam tape on the back of this and mount the monitor directly to it. So that way there's plenty of mounting options and all of them are pretty easy to do. So after this piece is installed properly, if you choose to use it, what you'll want to do is take some CA glue and put it inside of this channel on this piece here. Let's see if I can get a better view there. So it'll be right here inside this channel. So if you're looking at the monitor, it's going to be standing up like this. You want the curved end of the channel piece at the top and it's going to fit right into this channel here. So you'll want to glue that in place, make sure it's nice and square. And once that's glued in place, you'll choose whichever mounting antenna mounts fit your radio. Now you'll notice that the slots at the base here for the two antenna mounts, one of them has a notch in the middle and the other is completely flat. So that way it's not too confusing which one goes where. Um, now if you're using the Turnigy radios, then the top piece will be this piece with the indent. Um, this indent needs to face downward because it's going to go on top of the antenna rings at the bottom. So this indent should face downward and this piece can go on either way and it'll face right there. The openings for the antenna need to face towards the back of the radio so that it can be slid on properly. Now once those are glued in place and this piece is also properly glued in place. The final piece that you'll want to include is the bottom mount. And this mount here has a little 90 degree angle piece right there. You're going to take that and just punch it into the slot at the bottom, just like that. And make sure that you rest it on a table and it's completely flat. As with all the other pieces, you want to make sure that there's a perfect 90 degree angle. So with all the pieces in place and glued together, you're going to take the second half of the bracket and that'll simply, you'll add CA glue into all of the channels and if you want you can use accelerator on the other pieces and then that'll simply just glue right on top. And then you'll have your two halves of the monitor mount. So the completed monitor mount will just slide around the antenna and clip on in the back. It's a pretty easy setup process and then you can choose which mounting style you would like to use with the radio. Now, another thing worth mentioning is the <clears throat> how you would mount the spectrum pieces. As I said, it comes with two different sets of pieces for mounting to the antenna. <clears throat> now, this piece here is the piece with the larger diameter ring and the two indents on the side in here as well. This is the bottom piece for the spectrum radio antenna mount, and that'll go right there with the hole facing to the back. And the top piece has a large surface extending outward and this surface will go down. 
So when these two clip together, it should look like a solid piece that goes completely around the monitor mount, just like that. Now, they can be glued together on top of each other, but it's only necessary that they be glued into the side pieces. If you do want to glue them together like this, just make sure that you have them aligned perfectly in order for it to work. And with the Spectrum radio, the final assembly process is just the same. It slides onto the radio. These two indents here will make sure that it clips onto the antenna securely, and the clips in the back will clip onto the handle of the radio. Now, um, I think that's about it for the assembly. One thing worth mentioning is that these parts are all 3D printed, and with the 3D printed parts, you have to be careful because if this mount is left in a car, say, something that's upwards of 130 degrees Fahrenheit or more probably for a long duration of time, the parts will start to warp. So you don't want to do that. But there should be absolutely no problems with operating them in direct sunlight or anything like that. You just want to be careful of having them in heated environments for prolonged periods of time. Um, with that being said, one of the advantages is if you want to adjust the clips on the radio, the easiest way to do it is just to take a lighter or a butane torch, lightly heat them. You could probably use a blow dryer as well if it's hot enough. And when they're soft enough, you can take those clips and you can either pinch them or widen them so that they fit properly and make all the adjustments you need. Um, and I think that's about it. So if you have any uh, questions, you can either leave an email on my website or post a comment below. Um, one of the new features that we'll be offering on the website is a replacement guarantee. And the replacement guarantee covers any items that are damaged either in shipment, if you crash it, if you break it for some reason, it doesn't matter how you break it, we'll replace it, no questions asked, provided that you send us a photograph of what the damages were. Um, for example, if you did happen to leave this in your car and it melted, or maybe somebody stepped on it and you broke your mount off, just send a photograph of the damage. There's a form on my website that you can fill out with your order information and we'll send you a replacement. Um, however, shipping is not covered by the replacement guarantee, but the cost of the product will be covered by that replacement. So that's about it. Um, if you haven't checked out the new website, there will be links in the description for that. And the new shop is integrated into the website now, so everything should be on placumengineering.org um, or placumengineering.com. And right now we're offering a 10% sale for the next few weeks um, while the website is still new and everything's getting sorted out. Alright, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.